So July was really busy for the project. Not only were we fresh on the ground, but we also had plenty to be getting on with. And one of the first things we did was establish our insect breeding facility. Now this involved us converting an old volcano shelter into the facility that we needed in order to feed the amount of chickens when they arrive. This video is going to show you how we did that and it's also going to show you what the facility looked like before and after we were finished with it. So this is what the building looked like before we started work on it and this is everything that we brought from inside out which was completely infested with termites and was rotten through. We had leaks in the ceiling and the walls. Um, all of it had to be patched and it took a phenomenal time just to clean the stuff out of it. Um, once that had been done, next step was to recruit our local builder, Mr. Dig, who I needed as extra manpower really to help me get the shelving done and everything ready as quickly as possible. Also needed his, ex his expertise to help with the demolition. So me and him spent the whole weekend um, working out there from 8 o'clock in the morning until about 7 at night. Managed to get it all done in just two days, which was brilliant. This is my drive over to Codgerhead to go and fetch him in the morning. And as you can see, even though it is really overcast, Montserrat is still a beautiful place to be. Here he comes, just plodding along. And this is where our day began, every day. So we're we ready to go. This is the wood that we sourced. So the wood here, they sell just in the large lengths. You have to have the machinery to be able to trim it down, which is another reason we needed Mr. Dig. These are the rooms, which had been cleaned of most of the debris, but still had a little bit of stuff stored in them. Each room is going to house a different species of cricket in here, with the benches in the main room being for the cockroaches. It's a storeroom just for cupboard and um, resources to use for housing for the crickets. And then out here, this is the toilet that you saw before that was absolutely filthy. It's been cleaned a little bit. This is where we're going to create the workbench and the workroom. Whilst Mr. Dig focused on trimming down all the wood to the right sizes, it was my job to treat everything to make sure we weren't going to get a reinfestation with termites. You know, we wanted to make sure this would last for as long as possible, so I went over everything two, three times. We also demolished the intersection in the bathroom in order to make way for this workbench. And then after that, we just treated it all again to make sure it was going to last. And we were pretty much done. So we had these workbenches ready to receive the cockroaches and the wooden shelving in each room ready to receive the crickets. I'm currently breeding the first founding population at home, which you can hear chirruping away happily. And on top of that, we've had our first babies, who just hatched today.